Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can do logo animations in Blender, um, as more specifically in Blender Grease Pencil. This is a 2D scene. I've animated this logo, and you can animate any logo as long as it's not too, too complicated. Uh, it does have a little bit of limitations, but as long as the, the logo is uh, relatively simple, we can animate most of the elements. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop this and uh, show you what I did. Um, let me go to Adobe Illustrator and show you what I've downloaded. Uh, this is the file I downloaded from the internet and it's a vector. If you don't have Adobe Illustrator, you could do this in Inkscape. Uh, I just don't know Inkscape that well. Uh, and, I, and I know Adobe Illustrator anyway. So I downloaded this and I copied this uh, and if you notice here, it's got a gradient, which Blender cannot import gradients. So that's why I grabbed that one logo and I brought it in and I changed the colors and I made them solid colors. And if you notice uh, back here in the layers, I broke up everything and put in its own layer. Uh, all the letters in separate layers, the slogan stayed in one layer and all the elements of the logo that I thought, see when you when you look at this, especially when you look at the whole thing and you look at a logo, whatever logo it is, you're gonna think about how am I going to animate this? What would look cool? And I thought this one was pretty cool because they look like arrows and I thought maybe I could bring each arrow from its perspective side and then and then rotate them and so um, I separated everything into its own layer took off the gradient one more thing I did that I had a problem with in blender is that I had to cut the O the P the A uh, anything with the inner circle let me let you see what I did here I had to cut these because I was getting an error in blender and all I did is I took the knife and I cut them uh, to make it two separate objects instead of an object with a hole in it uh, and that seemed to work uh, anyways I did it with the A's the P and the O's after I had this everything in a separate layer I exported it or saved as in Illustrator I saved as it's SVG and then I brought it into Blender and it worked so I am going to open up the startup file by the way I'm gonna upload this startup file and I'll have a link in the description open recent logo here is my startup file Let's go ahead and animate this. Uh, what I've done here uh, so far is I created an empty and all you have to do is hit uh, add an empty plain axis and there it is. And I've parented each of the uh, logo elements to this empty. That way when I grab the empty, um, the logo goes with it. But I can still grab these independently and move them around. So you can see that here in the outliner. If I open this up, uh, all of the, the bottom, left, right, and top elements are parented to the empty. Uh, the other thing I did was I named everything. Everything came in as curves and I converted everything to grease pencil objects and then I named everything. Uh, I put a one in front of the A and the G because I have two A's, one for the slogan, one for company. And so the slogan is here, one, all the ones, that's the slogan. And then all the twos uh, make up the company, company right there. Everything is separate. Remember that whenever you animate something, it's gotta be its own separate grease pencil object. And, and therefore, I thought to myself when I was looking at this Illustrator file, I thought, how am I going to animate this? All right, I'll bring this from here, this from here, that from there, and this from the bottom. And the company, it would be cool if I bring it from here and as it came, as it moved 
to the right, from left to right, that it would appear just like you saw at the beginning. So I'm going to do that. And then the slogan, I'll just up um, animate it uh, going up from bottom up. All right, let's go ahead and get started, guys. I've got my setup. You can download this file. I'll have the link in the description. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. It really doesn't matter how you animate this because you can always adjust your animations accordingly. So let's go ahead and start with this company. I am going to select all of them. And let's say we're going to animate them in 15 frames. I am going to hit I, I, and I am going to keyframe the location. There we go. And it won't show up here. This is the this is not the timeline. This is a dope sheet. So I'm gonna close this and I'm gonna open my timeline. Here it is. I am going to move this over and zoom in. And so I've got a keyframe for the location at frame 15. I'm gonna all go all the way back to frame one and then move it to about right there. And automatically there's a keyframe because I've got auto keyframe, uh, auto keying turned on right there. So now we've got our first animation and there it is. You can see that it already has an ease in and ease out. And there it is from one to 15, it just moves there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm also going to um, have it appear have the letters appear as they move in. Each grease pencil object is in its own layer. So the layer, the cool thing is that we can, um, when I hit the grease pencil object, and there's the layer. And the cool thing is that we can animate the opacity of each layer. So what I'm gonna do is at frame 15, I'm gonna keyframe the opacity, and then go back and turn it off. Make sure that I keyframe it um, because sometimes it doesn't take. So I wish I could select them all. I wish I could select them all and do them all at once. Uh, but I don't, I can't seem to get that. Um, anyways, here's all of them selected. Here's the opacity. And I am going to at frame one, turn them off. See only the Y. And that frame 15, oops, I forgot to keyframe it. Keyframe it at one. And at frame 15, turn it back on and make sure that it's keyframed. All right, that only happened on the Y. None of the other ones worked. So the N, we have to do them one by one. At frame 15, keyframe it. You know what, I'm just gonna do one, keyframe it at a time, keyframe it, keyframe, and keyframe. Frame one, zero, keyframe it. It should keyframe already. We'll see, let's test it. All right, let's play it. Uh, let me go ahead and uh, shorten this to about 80. That way we don't have to wait for it to come back. There it is. See, that's cool enough. That's cool enough as it is. But the reason I wanted to separate them is because I wanted it to, to, to do them individually. So if I've got this at 15, the next one, let's... Um, Select all the keyframes and let's delay it five frames. Let's see what that looks like. Let's delay it five frames. This one would be 10. This one was five, 10, 15. The A would be 20. The N would be 25. And then the Y would be at 30. 
and let's see what that looks like. There we go. That, that looks pretty cool. Boom, 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 boom. That's it. Uh, the word slogan. Again, don't worry about like, oh, am I going to get the timing right? You can always, always um, have access to your keyframes on the timeline and adjust your timing. So the word slogan. Let me go ahead and select it, all of it. And uh, let's say in 10 frames, I am going to keyframe that, hit I, the location, go back to frame one, and then go, oops, I grabbed this one too. Go back to frame one and push it down. And now this goes up and then that comes in. Um, let's go ahead and do the same for the um, for the opacity. As it comes in, it will reveal itself. So at frame one, it should be at 100% at one. So let's keyframe that. Keyframe. 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 We're keyframing the layer opacity at 100%. In this case, one. Boom, there it is. At frame one, when they're in the down position, I want them at zero. 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 And they disappear. You can see that. The only reason we can do this is because every letter is in its own layer. Zero. All right, cool. And so as it comes up, it reveals itself. Boom. Uh, and if we want to break them up, easy. Let's go to frame 10. The S we're not going to touch. The L we're going to push. Ooh, let's say two frames, every two frames. The O to four, the G to six, the A to eight, and the N to 10. Let's see what that looks like. Boom, there it is. Let's see that again. Of course, I want the, the slogan to come in way after a uh, company comes in. When company comes in, then I want my slogan to come in. So let's go ahead and adjust that. Uh, at 20, I'm going to select all of these. I got all of them selected. I'll select all the keyframes and adjust our timing. So. As the word company comes in, let's say, uh, let's say about 35. And I'll move all of these keyframes to 35. That means they will start at frame 35. So I'm going to deselect them. Hit play. Company slogan. There we go. Company slogan. That's awesome. Uh, don't forget to save. Let me go ahead and save this. And now all we have to do is animate uh, the logo here. Same as the other ones, guys. Everything is broken up in its own um, grease pencil object. So I'm going to start with this one. I'm going to keyframe it at, let's say, 6. Right at the end position. Uh, hit I, location. Hit I location hit i location and i location so everything has been keyframe at frame six now at frame one i am going to move this it should be keyframed already because auto keyframe is turned on i'm going to move this out i'm going to move this out and i'm going to move this out 
So from frame one to six, they'll come in like that. Not a big deal. Boom. Uh, the, the other thing is I want them to appear just like we did with the letters. So uh, let's say at frame four, right before they hit six, they'll be fully visible. The opacity there, keyframe the opacity on each one, just like what we did with the letters, boom. And then at frame one, let's go to zero, boom. Boom, and again, I've, I've got auto keyframe, so it's keying all of these moves. Boom, and oops. Boom, done. So as these come in, so let's look at that. Boom, and then I want them to turn. Uh, so they come in as the word company's coming in and then uh, before slogan let's say at frame 40 i want it to turn this is where that empty comes in i'm going to grab that empty and keyframe it hit i the rotation here at zero i am going to zoom out a little bit and i want it to i want it to rotate pretty fast maybe in five frames we're going to rotate this, the whole thing 90 degrees to about right there. Oh, I almost had it, 90. Uh, and there's a keyframe. We're going to wait till slogan comes in at 55, keyframe it again. There's a pause right there, um, rotation. There's a pause right there from 45 to 55. And at 60, we'll give it another turn. Another 90. So let's go ahead and look at everything together. Let's go back all the way back. I'm going to deselect everything. I'm going to hide this empty. And then, boom, company, slogan, boom, boom. I think that... I think we should wait for those those two turns after slogan. So let's go ahead and adjust that, guys. I'm going to stop it here. I'm going to select the empty, the empty. Select that empty. That's what's animated, not these things. I'm going to select the empty, and I am going to zoom out. here just zoom out and I am going to move these till after slogan appears right about there I'm gonna move all of these keyframes over and then I'm gonna give myself a couple more frames to, to 100 and I can see I tell you that I can move these anywhere I want uh, and now I know that I want to move them here at about frame 55 and let's look at that they come in company slow and then they turn boom and that's it guys we've we've animated a logo you have to get organized and find out what elements can move and how you're going to parent these uh, make sure that you're organized and lay, name all of your grease pencil objects and then that's it uh, you can you can again you can adjust the timing later uh, you can animate here and then adjust it and adjust all of your elements to come in when you want them to come in hey guys i hope that you've liked this video if you like the video go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe and i will see you on the next one thank you guys